Hey, Annalisa, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're enjoying the shoon. And I uh, just wanted to show you what, what I tried to write in that email <laughs> yesterday. So the main thing I was saying is start keeping your thumb and index fingers firmly on those holes and then see if you can cover the rest and get a good tone. It takes some practice, as you know. The main thing that I realized is it's making sure all of the holes are well covered. So, so once you have that, the next step would be just to play around with these six fingers on your right and left hands and starting with your left hand. So just get really comfortable doing this. And you can practice doing instead of just one by one like this. You can also start doing groups of fingers. So just play around on your left hand with those three fingers for a while and get really comfortable doing that. And then you can also add your right hand. And keeping your left hand fingers open, up, uh, keep those holes uncovered while you're working with your right hand fingers. same exercises, more fingers at a time. And then you can see how the scale is formed and hear how the scale is formed. practice that skill. And play around with some little melodies. So that's all just using these six fingers and just going up and down with different combinations. So that is where I would start. If you want a diatonic scale, then you need to do some cross fingering. So um, that means instead of going straight up, you need to do So you put your pinky back down and lift up the middle finger, uh, well, the ring finger. And there you have the first part of a diatonic scale. So those typical little um, five note practicing scales that you may have already done on the clarinet. Uh, and if you want to get the whole diatonic scale, there's some more cross fingering.
So then you can also practice those crosses. So <laughs> there you have the just basic getting comfortable with the fingers and then also the diatonic scale. And then you can go up, but just start with that for now. And then if you want a, some more direction with what, what happens, it just it's a little bit more cumbersome, more difficult, but once you get comfortable in doing this, then you can start working with your index fingers and your thumbs. But um, save that for the next video. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and good luck!